Hi and welcome to this new video on robotic basic theory. So in this video we're going to talk about uh, robotics perception. Uh, so why do we need it? So perception is what allows the robot to not stumble upon people, to detect objects in a way that they can grab them, that they can avoid them, also detect people so they can follow them, they can talk to them, they can recognize uh, who is his boss and who is someone that he doesn't know. All those things is what perception does and much, much more. And it's very linked with AI, especially nowadays. It's basically AI all over the place. So in this video, we're going to um, introduce a very basic concept, which is hard cascades that are used for um, detect and recognize uh, different kind of objects or things like human faces, which is the example that we're going to do, but it's used to detect uh, apples or a table or a car or anything, absolutely anything. So how does it work? Uh, essentially what it does is um, we stack very simple feature detections and we stack them one after the other and this group of detections make a very much more complex detection. So for example, the face that we're going to do right now. So it's, it's a combination of different features, which is a very basic feature is the mouth, which is a horizontal black line cut and then there's white on top and dark and and then white again then the eyes is basically dark then white then dark horizontally and then the nose is for example uh, dark dark and white in the middle and based on those very simple features if we stack them together and we make detections we can then see okay the object that i'm seeing is it a face Okay, does it have this line? Yeah. Does it have this one? Mm, I'm not sure. Does it have this one? No, then it's not a face. Um, for example, it's a very, very over the top um, explanation, but uh, I leave in the, in the video description links much more detail than this uh, that go into all the, the details on how this works. But essentially it's, it's that. So what's the advantage? The advantage is that it's very fast. It's really, really fast because there's no real learning there. There's no big computers needed for that. Um, and you can do it real time. The drawback of that is that you need to define a, a hard cascade file for each of the objects that you want to detect. So if I want to detect a face, human face, okay. I can detect any human face, great. But it doesn't allow me to detect um, dog faces, for example, or it doesn't allow me to maybe detect cartoon faces. Uh, and obviously, if I want to detect another thing like an apple, I can't recycle it. I have to generate a new one, which is generated by, by AI deep learning systems and all that stuff. So. Depending on your application, it's really good. Uh, if you want a more generic solution, it's not the solution. Uh, so let me show you uh, an example. So here uh, I want to, let me, there you go. Uh, so here we have our beloved uh, butter robot. And in this case, I've scaled it so that it's a more real representation of what the robot would be. And what we want to do is detect the face of this good man here. And what we want it to is to control, based on the detection of face, um, the joint of the head so that it's always the, the face of the person, it's always centered in the image. So let me go here and 
There we go. So as you can see, it's uh, detecting right now. Uh, let me show you here. So now it's detecting the face and also it detects sometimes the eyes. There you go. The greens around there. Great. So how does it work? So if I open my terminals and I, for example, move the robot around, let's, for example, I go uh, forwards. There you go. So you can see that it's moving the head so that the, the face is in the center of the, the camera, of the image. If I go backwards, then it will adjust the angle so that it centers the, the face in the image. Really simple. Uh, it's slow, so of course the detection you can see that it's in real time. So I've moved the robot and the detection is always there running. And how does it work? So essentially is what I've explained. So we have these um, Harkis gate files. For example, this one is for a frontal face. And you say, so it doesn't detect faces like this on the side. No, it doesn't, because it, it's a different set of features. Let me show you. So if I go, if I go here and uh, what? Let me, there you go. So have a look at the, the detection. So if I go here and I go here, it doesn't detect anything. Why? Because probably it's not detecting that it has two eyes, so there's only he's only seeing one eye. Um, maybe that the nose is diagonal; it's not uh, horizontal and vertical. So it's very poor when uh, we're talking about adaptability and flexibility. But it's really strong in detecting. So if it's if you have a frontal face, it will detect the frontal face, which for many applications is more than enough. Uh, so going again to the code, we have these monstrous files, which what they are doing is defining those features and those that cascade of features that defines a face. Uh, we have another one for the eyes. There you go, again super long, super complex, but normally you can find a uh, hard cascades for a lot of things already done for you. So normally you don't have to create them. Uh, so, and just to um, give a more detail on how this works, essentially what we have is this recognize face file running uh, which what we have is it's using OpenCV to get the images from ROS uh, simulation or uh, ROS system. It could be a real robot. It doesn't matter. And what it does is get the image and it gets, it passes that image through the cascades the cascade classifier and, and boom, it has it. So basically it gets the image, it turns it into grayscale because hard cascade in this case doesn't use colors. So it's, it would be a, a waste of resources. So it's a grayscale and then it just detects faces and the, the same happens with the eyes, the same thing. So. Here you, you have the eyes detected, that's it. So it seems pretty simple. So for using it, it's really simple. For developing, it's not that simple to do it. And then this one is uh, detecting the faces and then it's publishing a topic that does that. Yeah. So if you want to learn more about um, open CV, not only uh, face detection, but people tracking, 
or object detection or AR tags and so on. I highly recommend you that you do this course on OpenCV basics and the construct. And I followed this, this course pre, uh, previously to do this video and it, it really helped me a lot to have this running uh, really fast. So it, it's, it's highly recommended. I really recommend it. And then if you're more interested in more general stuff uh, on perception, there's a course uh, which talks about, uh, in, talks about this perception uh, stuff more related to ROS. So all the packages that are used for perception for ROS, not only OpenCV. And yeah, so that, that's quite it. So thanks a lot for staying at, until the end. Please subscribe if you didn't and please leave a like. We really appreciate it. Uh, so we know that you like this content and that's it. See you in the next video. Peace.